What's up, fellas? I'm baking a cake. Check this out. Looks done. Got some footage there guys it definitely lasted a little longer than uh, it would have I think so I also want to comment on a remark made by delicious the Blair you were in fact correct about the self-cleaning properties of hot glass I did a test tube experiment where I heated a test tube to uh, basically incandescent temperatures and then dipped it in some waste oil and um, it did in fact self-clean there was no soot no burn marks no nothing it completely vaporized the oil 100 percent and left no marks so my fears of um, the hot glass coking up the lens and turning it opaque were uh, definitely eliminated i should have just listened to you from the get-go you definitely got some pretty powerful insights on some of this stuff but uh man that was cool So as usual, I suck as a cameraman and we pretty much missed all the footage. Now as I was sitting there watching the experiment, 
Some really cool things were going on that the human eye could observe, but a crappy iPhone camera just wasn't able to adjust it to where we could all see what was happening. So I'm gonna have to do the experiment again and tamper with the lighting. I did it once before um, when viewing a vortex on my elbow burner and it seemed to work out. I just didn't dawn on me that I'd have to do that. So for the most part, for you, the viewer, the experiment was a failure. But for me, I saw some extremely awesome vortex action taking place. It was uh, moving at thousands of RPMs, but you could still see that it was spinning. So it was definitely pretty cool. And I mean thousands. I, I could tell. It was really hauling along there. It was awesome. Definitely a neat little burn. Um, I almost want to wait for a weld the plate on there permanently because I want to try this experiment one more time that piece made it out pretty big there and I want to try it with the camera setting so you guys can actually see what's happening inside the vortex maybe I should just set the camera here this time and I wanted you to be able to see the flame too so I'm half tempted to try it with plexiglass it would give us a few a few seconds and in slow speed, that'd probably be, you know, maybe 10 seconds of footage to observe the swirl. I think that's going to be our best idea. Even though it's going to get melted plastic all over everything, I think it's worth a try. 